Oh, and I need this. Let's hear it. Okay. <laughs> Here. 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 So I'm here today to give you advice on how to not create negative energy towards your life, towards your own experiences, and anything that happens along the way. So basically, as a human being, we all go through hardships and obstacles that make us want to give up and discourage our work. Therefore, it's a natural instinct, yet not many understand that it's a mindset we carry with pessimistic values. It's easy to hold heavy shoulders of guilt, sadness, and anxiety, but it seems harder to let go of it. What I've learned in the past is that negative energy affects our potential to become greater and influential. You construct the kind of life you want to live. Research has shown that people who cultivate negative energy experience more stress, sickness, and less opportunity. Therefore, that is why I'm here to alter your life in five revolutionary steps. And it's called How to Get Rid of Negative Energy in Five Steps of Tutorial. Okay, so I'm gonna start with a quote by Lao Chu, that Chao, Chao, so how, no, sorry, wow. it, something like that. I'm close enough. Okay, <laughs> it says, "Watch your thoughts; they become words. Watch your words; they become actions. Watch your actions; they become habits. And watch your character; it becomes your destiny." So before I start the presentation, I also want to start off with a checklist. Just if it relates to you, you can say yes, and if it doesn't, then that's fine. It happens to everybody. So one question is: Are you generally happy? Okay. <laughs> you don't have to raise your hand or anything, just think of it. Um, do you wake up in the morning with the urge to start a great day? Yes. Okay. Um, do good things happen to you often? Mm. Eh, okay. Um, how many times a day do you have negative thoughts? <laughs> yeah, so, right. And that's normal, there's nothing wrong with that. It happens. So, for me, it's all, for, it's every day. I, Definitely, I'm genuinely happy. I definitely do have the urge to start off with a great day, and I definitely have happy things happen, happen to me once in a while. I mean, of course, negative things happen. Just it's a normal, it's, it's a normal thing. So, and then negative thoughts a day, probably two times a day, to be realistic. Yeah, but this is why. So the first thing is to become grateful. That's the first thing to do to start a really, really positive lifestyle. You're right, you're here at this moment, and a million other people wish they were in your position. That is why. No one, not a lot of people can go to college, not a lot of people can afford it, but you guys strove for what you wanted, and you came here because of that. Take everything into consideration. Your family, the kind of income you make, the fact that you're alive. Every hardship you have in your plate is someone else's least worry. So just because you go through something doesn't mean anyone else has it less worse than you do. Or way worse. So remember that. You're, you're put into conflicts that shape you, not disrupt you. So anything you go through in life, you're definitely there to learn a lesson. It's not something that just happens out of nowhere. It's things happen to you for a reason. Second step. Oh, also, stop comparing. That's another one. Laugh more at yourself, at life, at situations you go through. <laughs> life is busy. You get caught up and you feel sometimes like a robot. It feels like an ongoing routine to go to school, work, class, school, work, eat class, and it feels like your life just has no actual meaning at the end of the day. Therefore, having a reserved attitude can implement negative results. So having strict policies for yourself, not you know just doing homework all the time, which is something I definitely need to work on because I do need to live up a little more, it's okay. Um, it definitely doesn't give you anything, no new experiences happen out of it, I can tell you that. And not having new experiences will reflect how you kind of work throughout the day. Not everything in life is that serious. That's something I also need to learn more. <laughs> Let loose. And definitely, you have one life, so why can't you start living it? Third step, the company you keep, change that. <laughs> so a friend or a group of peers that happen to express negative qualities or traits, back away, because it doesn't mean they are not talking about you at the end of the day. Next thing is, those who are pessimistic are uncomfortable with themselves. Anyone that talks negatively about anybody else has no comfort within their own um, energy, within their own lifestyle, or even just their own persona in general. So therefore, isolate yourself with good intentions. Doesn't mean you have to back away from the situation, or I mean, no, back away from the situation, but you don't have to back away from the people that you love. Just give them time to kind of work on themselves. And that's my last one. Give them time to evaluate who they are. That's a big one. That's when you learn how to love yourself even more and become more confident in who you are as well. 
Fourth step, ignore the haters and don't be a hater. Which means the haters don't know you, nor do, nor do they even know themselves. <coughs> ignore, ignorance is an entry to become a routine to judge. With, with, with ignorance, you kind of just don't think about all the, other opportunities, all, the, all the other opportunities that happen in life. Therefore, you also want to think about how other people are going through worse things than you are, and it just clogs up your mind into thinking that someone else just is better than you, even though it's not true. Everyone else has the same situation. And then keep being a badass and walk away. That's my key every day, my motto. <laughs> yeah, I love that meme. <laughs> and then step five is meditation. Now, I know it sounds weird, I know a lot of people think of like, whoa, that's not some like Buddha type stuff, but no, actually meditation works and I have done it before. Um, the first time I did it was probably four years ago after going through like a bully, you know, situation that I had a company for life, but you know, um, there's different types of meditation. It's not just breathing on your own and being in like a private space. There's yoga, there's um, breathing heavily once in a while, just trying to how we did it in class the other time and et cetera, et cetera. So, create, so meditation creates the most powerful vibrations in your body, which means it gives you a clear like thought process and a clear um, energy in your life. Helps alter anxiety levels. Um, it distresses your inner and outer core, and it radiates your love and thought process. Like I said, these are a few last tips. Our mindfulness much can much improve our lives, which means knowledge is definitely power. We will always learn, always grow as people. So you don't know anything, and that, no one knows everything. It's not true. Also, declutter your life. Stay away from all gossip. The less you know won't hurt. Don't talk about anyone. No one is your concern. Reorganize your priorities. Study habits, exercise, clean your room. Um, clean any other space you may have that is decluttered. So, um, Help more people without wanting anything in return. And lastly, my life, my life motto would have to be, I'm a firm believer in to the, anything you put into the universe will come back to you. And continue having a blissful and optimistic life. And that is it.